I too want to welcome everyone here tonight to the uh, Bel Air Bay Club. Personally, I got introduced to the 1736 Family Crisis Center about two or three years ago from actually one of our uh, fellow chairs, um, committee chairs, Amanda Harvey. Uh, I was able to go down and tour uh, one of the shelters down in, uh, it was down in Redondo Beach. When I got there, it was, you know, and I, I go out on a lot of grant uh, site visits a lot, but I, I have to say that when I, immediately when I walked in um, to the shelter, everyone I met there was amazing, from, from the senior staff people all the way down to the therapists and counselors and everyone else. The enthusiasm, excitement, dedication of everyone. A lot of that started with Toby and Debbie who are just amazing. So I want to give them a big hand. And it's just amazing that there's a facility out there that is, can help people in, in that situation. As I toured the facility and met some of the families and trends, you could see the happiness. And most importantly, I felt the security that each of the children and families felt at the facilities. Keep in mind, these are a lot of times, you know, women and children who've, you know, been on the streets or have just been in horrendous situations um, with with abuse and everything else, and and, and, and didn't have a place to go. Um, were scared because they didn't. What were they going to do? They weren't going to go out in the streets, so they a lot of times they stay in, in these abusive situations. And we need more places like 1736 where these families and children and women can go and, and feel the security. And it, it's amazing, I mean, not, I mean, they provide the food, clothing, shelter, you know, they arrange schooling for the kids. They, they help out with the mothers with job counseling and psychological therapy, which is amazingly important just because, you know, these women, a lot of times, I mean, they don't know what to do. I mean, they, they don't have any idea what, what, what their next step is. So that, that's a very important um, aspect, I felt, to this, um, to what 1736 was able to provide is just the guidance to the mother so that they can, you know, start on a, on a, on a much, you know, better path. After this initial visit, I immediately knew that this was an organization that, uh, that I was for sure going to be supporting, and I have personally. Um, Right now, uh, we, there is a grant proposal in front of uh, the, the Keck Foundation that uh, hopefully uh, will be materializing as well. So that, that would be a good thing. Since uh, my first meeting, I've been able to visit the future headquarters building and a new shelter location. And both of these facilities are very important to, to Carol, I know, and she's working extremely hard uh, as, uh, with the rest of the staff to bring these two facilities online and to fruition. So having said that, I can assure Carol and Toby and Debbie and Ron that uh, you will have my continued support moving forward. I think it's a great organization and I'm very happy to be associated uh, with it. So having said that, let's move on with the rest of the program for the evening. Thanks very much.